I'm late, honey. But I got held up in traffic. Wait just a second, Mom. Ryan, hurry. Now I'm going to be late picking up Mindy. safety belt. Brian, I'm in a hurry and we're only going a couple of blocks. But Mrs. Horn, we're saying about safety belts in school and my teacher says to always wear them. Brian, run in and see if Mindy's ready. I have to get to the bank and the cleaner's hand before I take you to baseball practice. <sighs> yeah. Bank, cleaners, grocery store. Wait a minute. This isn't the bank. The bank? Yes? This is Mickey's safety clubhouse. And you're here because you didn't put on your safety belt. Brian, I don't have time for this. But Mom, I didn't do this. This is Jennifer's daydream. All rise for his honor, Judge Mickey Mouse. He's in charge. Mrs. Horn and seat belt safety. What? Mom, but I always wear my safety belt. Ah, uh, Jennifer, will you please present your case to the court? It was like this, Mickey. On the morning of April 28th, Mrs. Horn pulled out of a driveway at 1333 Maple Street without putting on her safety belt. Aw, oh, gee. She could have been hurt. We all could have been hurt. I object. Mom was in a hurry, and we were only going a couple of blocks. But Mickey, we learned in school that three out of four car crashes happen within 25 miles of home. Ha <laughs> ha! Overruled! Brian, you better think of another argument. Okay, what about my mom being a great driver? She's never had a car crash. Right, Mom? That's right. Perfect driving record. Please allow me to introduce Exhibit A. If you would, Mickey. Huh. Why, sure. <laughs> no matter how good a driver you are, you can't control the other drivers on the road. You have to stop fast. Or you hit something, a safety belt holds you in place. But if you're not wearing your safety belt... What? No safety belt? No way. Send in the stunt egg. Call my agent. Aw, oh, come on, Egbert. Be a good egg. But do it for people everywhere. That's it, Eggy. Show them how even the best drivers need safety belts to stop them from hitting windshields, dashboards, steering wheels, or even being thrown out of the car. You can get hurt even when the crash is the other person's fault. Oh. 
Oh no. Poor Egbert. But what if he had had on his safety belt and the car caught on fire? Egbert would have been trapped inside. Jennifer? The National Safety Council says that less than 1% of all car crashes, that's almost never making, and in fire or with a car flying into water. Brian, listen to this girl. She's brilliant. Well, we're studying about safety belts in school. And... What's the name of your teacher? Maybe I can get Brian in your class. Excuse me, Mrs. Horn. Maybe you could tell us what you've learned so far. Well, you should always wear a safety belt, no matter how short a distance you are going or how big a hurry you're in. All right, Ma. But, um, what about those people who say safety belts are too uncomfortable to use? Okay, okay, I get it. What's comfort when it comes to saving a life? You bet! Ha. <laughs> Please allow me to introduce Exhibit B. Your daydream even includes expert witnesses? Of course! None other than... my closing argument. But what about how great you are? Why, Brian, how sweet. You go right ahead. Don't let me stop you. Take all the time you need. In defense of my mother, I'd just like to say she hasn't always been this way. About driving, I mean. I mean, usually, she's super safe. This is her first offense. Exhibit D, Mickey. Home movies that prove my mom's been using safety belts for as long as I've known her. Okay, uh-huh. Even longer, Your Honor. Even when I was expecting Brian. I never move the car without putting on my safety belt first. And after Brian was born, I always put him in a special infant seat that faced the rear of the car. And I never let him sit in my lap or anyone else's because I know how dangerous that is. Oh, Brian. Look how cute you were. Mom. Sorry, Your Honor. Anyway, when I got a little older, she made sure I was buckled into a little kid car seat. You know, the kind that faces forward. But only when he could sit up by himself and not a day before. 
And then when Brian was about three and a half, I got him a booster seat with a safety shield. When he outgrew that, he went into a regular safety belt and always in the back seat, away from the dashboard and windshield. I never let kids get in or out of the car from the street side. And I never buckle two kids together in the same safety belt. There's a safety belt for each one. I make everyone lock their doors. Mickey, I'll never move the car again without my own safety belt on. And I'll make sure that everyone else in the car has theirs on too. It was a one-time mistake. I didn't mean it. You have to believe me. You have to let me out of this daydream. I've got errands to do. Jennifer? Mickey? The court has just one thing to say. Everyone has a safety belt on. So pull out the end, buckle it so it clicks, and check that it is low and snug over your hips. Mrs. Thorn, what's that song you were singing? I don't know, Jen. It just kind of came into my head. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 